Hello Leos, this is your reading for today, the 7th. This is for Leo, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter signs. If you guys are new, welcome to the channel. Please hit the like button, share the video, and subscribe. Let's see what's going on for you guys today. Okay, cards not wanting to come together. Hopefully that's not an indication of what you guys have going on right now. But let's see what's going on for Leo. King of Pentacles. I feel like there's just something that you're trying to um, just kind of get right within your life. Um, trying to see what else is out there. What else you can do to you know make your, your life better at this point, I feel. Um, I feel a lot of you guys, you know... You're kind of looking at something that was going on in the past, but you're you're wanting to move forward, though, is what I'm getting here. You want to be there for someone um, confident, I feel, that you can make something happen um, with the situation if you want it to, is what I'm getting. If you want it to, okay? And I think there's something that you're contemplating, okay? And then we have the chariot. Oh, Yeah. And that's moving forward with the connection here. Somebody that you feel strongly connected to. Maybe a Cancer Gemini individual here. But um, you guys are contemplating it. Um, and I think you you have confidence that you can you know make, some, make a go of something with someone if you really want it to. Yeah. I feel like you guys are definitely in love with someone. Um, I feel like this person more than likely is in love with you too. You guys are sharing this energy, okay? Some of you are in a relationship with this person or you want to manifest this relationship um, back into existence or into existence if you've never been with this person. But I feel strongly that whoever this is, um, you guys see a future with this person, okay? You see stability with them. You see success with them. Um, you're attracted to them, you love them, and that feeling is reciprocated. I'm strongly getting here, okay? Hmm. Yeah. Thinking very heavily about this, I feel. Um, I feel this person thinks about you too, very strongly. But you know, what I'm getting more so is that, you know, this is, this is just you. This is you thinking about this, um, thinking about being there for, for the long haul is what I'm getting here, okay? Um, thinking about initiating something here because this, this King of Wands has a confidence that they can really make it happen and um, they have the gumption to make it happen. Yeah, but there's, there's a question of, you know, if this can be harmonious, if, if you guys can actually get along. If this person is going to um, uh, choose you as well and want to make this work, I feel strongly that you are confident that you can make it work, though. It's what I'm getting here. These are all good cards. If this is a marriage, um, if, if you guys are already in a relationship, I see, I mean, this is a very significant relationship, okay? And I see good things for you. If you are trying to get back with someone or get with someone, and I feel strongly that you know this person because these are very strong cards. This is all about union, okay? And I feel like this is, honestly, with the with temperance here and the magician, as above, so below, okay? So I feel like this is, this is written in the stars for you. This is the path that you guys are supposed to be on, okay? Let's see what's influencing you guys here. Eight of Swords. Hmm. You've really been thinking about this. Thinking if, you know, you guys can be happy together. And that makes me feel like this is something that, you know, has already been. Then you have the Wheel of Fortune. If it can be successful, changing from what it probably has been. Maybe you guys went through some bumps and some bruises in this connection and um, maybe something happened between you guys where one of you chose someone else at some point and felt like you would be you know good elsewhere without this person and now it's like kind of rethinking things and wondering if you know this could happen again. 
Oh yeah, this is what is coming. Oh, wow, okay. A lot of you are making a decision here with, with judgment and the Ten of Cups um, to be with this person. To be together with this person and make a home, make a life together. This is like the ultimate happiness within your reach. Okay? That was that this is very positive. Other than the eight of swords, and I feel like the eight of swords is here just because you know you guys are really kind of thinking um, whether or not this could really happen. And I feel like it could. We have Pisces here, um, Scorpio. Gemini, Sagittarius, Aries, Cancer, uh, maybe Virgo energy. But again, like I said, I feel like this is more so your energy with the two kings that, um, you know, I feel like at this point, whoever this is for, you guys are all in at this point. Let's pull you um, a Romance Angels card and see what it says here for you guys. Retreat. It's time to disconnect from the world. And you see there are two people in this card. So maybe there was some interference from um, someone else, a third party. It does not have to be an intimate third party. It could be family, friends, you know, things of that nature that kind of interfered and, and you know, separated you guys at one point. And so I think it's time to block out, um, you know, interference, other people, um, people putting their input into your business, you know, just kind of removing all of that and just focusing on you and the person that you're thinking about here, okay? So my Leos, um, this is great um, for whoever this resonates with. And I hope it resonates with, you know, many of you because this is a very positive reading, okay, guys? So that's what I have for you. And I will be speaking with you guys soon.